Hey folks, everything new under the sun. With the stuff going on in the world today and the, the battle, uh, the World War III that we're experiencing right now, um, this is really a battle for uh, control of the world, the world reserve currency, um, the U.S. dollar, um, the petrodollar. This is the war to protect the petrodollar because, of course, uh, Russia, China, um, they want to deal in uh, gold. Uh, they don't want to pay for oil in U.S. dollars. And <clears throat> really, at the end of the day, this is what all these uh, major world wars are about, uh, power, control of the world, world reserve currency. So along with that is the idea that we're going to go to a digital currency at some point. And the Bible does state um, that uh, <clears throat> there will be some sort of uh, digital currency. Uh, well, it doesn't state it, but it implies it because um, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark. Um, and what is the mark? Well, it is some sort of cashless society. And uh, what do we know right now um, about uh, what could be implemented related to that? Well, microchips and the use of digital currency. This is now the end begins .com. Global banking con conglomerates to join with the Federal Reserve Bank of New York to conduct a 12 week digital dollar pilot program. <clears throat> so Revelation 13, 17 says, uh, and that no man might buy or sell save he that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. At the very time, one of the world's largest crypto exchanges, FTX, has been mysteriously put out of business. Uh, the announcement is made to, uh, uh, of the establishment of a pilot program to create U.S. digital currency. In a November 15th announcement, the New York Fed said the program would explore the feasibility of an interoperable network of central bank wholesale digital money and commercial uh, digital uh, bank money operating on a shared multi-entity distributed ledger, i.e. cryptocurrency, on a regulated liability network, they say. Banking giants include BNY Mellon, Citigroup, HSBC, MasterCard, PNC, TD Bank, uh, Truist, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, um, and they're all going to be participating in this uh, pilot uh, of issuing <clears throat> tokens, their own digital, their own cryptocurrency um, for this. Now, you know that as soon as they roll this out, they're going to outlaw and regulate all other cryptocurrencies because they can't have any competing currency. That's what this war is uh, with Russia, etc., it is a, a competition for world uh, reserve currency. And so you have to go to war to prevent other countries from trying to change that. <clears throat> it says this proof of concept uh, project will test the technical feasibility, legal viability, and business applicability of distributed ledger technology, of cryptocurrency, of official cryptocurrency, as well as simulate tokens and explore regulatory Frameworks. Now, this is going to come down hard on cryptocurrencies um, like Bitcoin, Litecoin. Uh, they're all going to be outlawed, at, uh, basically, or regulated to death at some point. Federal regulators in the United States have not reached a consensus on whether to, to launch a digital dollar in the country, but agencies and those in private sector have been exploring the possibility. Following uh, Joe Biden's issuing of executor, executive order aimed at establishing a framework on digital assets, some lawmakers question Congress' role might be in passing legislation to support CBDC and how a digital dollar might curtail, curtail similar innovations from the private sector, i.e. <clears throat> tokens, um, Litecoin, Bitcoin, uh, cryptocurrency in general. And so, yes, legislation would cur curtail similar innovations uh, already happening. And, of course, there's a video here. Um, this is uh, Sunak, the UK uh, Prime Minister. He, ha he did a whole video about uh, promoting um, central bank digital currencies. As soon as he became, got into office, he did a whole video. You can go watch this <clears throat> on nowtheendbegins.com. Uh, CBDCs are the future by Rishi Sunak. And he goes, as a prime minister of the UK, he goes and sells this to everybody that he can. Um, so let's take a look at an example uh, from Canada. Is Canada moving towards central bank digital currency? Uh, well, this is bankofcanada.ca. You can see the logo up top. We are building the capability to issue a digital version of the Canadian dollar known as a central bank digital currency, CBDC. Everybody's using the same terminology. 
and it says that Canadians can trust and rely on, so we should be ready, so we are, uh, can be ready should the need arise. You bet you they're ready. They're ready for the collapse of the U.S. dollar as the world reserve currency and the moving to a digital currency. <clears throat> Currently, we do not have any plans to issue a digital currency. Ultimately, Parliament and the government of Canada will determine if or when to issue it. Changing times. The bank is responsible for supplying banknotes to Canadians and for making sure there is confidence in the Canadian dollar. To do this, we need to adapt to changes in the way Canadians pay for goods. Canadians are using cash less often. Huh. Digital payments such as credit cards and debit cards. Mobile payment options using uh, being used more frequently. And, and that's true. Um, absolutely everybody is using it. Less and fewer and fewer people are using cash. The day may come when Canadians can no longer readily use cash. Or, you know, and that's when they, when they outlaw cash. Or when an alternative private digital currency becomes widely adopted. And that's what they're going to start pr uh, pushing. Uh, a private <clears throat> digital currency. That might be the tipping point when CBDC... Could be needed. Banknotes will continue to be available for Canadians, even if a central bank digital currency were to be introduced. They would be available, but they would put a tax on them. So if you uh, were taking five dollars out of a bank, they would put tax on that, saying, "You know what? You can take five dollars out, but we're going to tax you ten percent, fifteen percent, whatever the amount is on that value, because it costs us money to continue to provide you with banknotes, with physical banknotes. They they are going to incentivize." strongly, incredibly strongly, for you to just simply use uh, digital means. So it goes down to the bottom here. We don't see a need to issue CBDC right now, central bank digital currency, and we don't know if it will be, uh, if we will need it in a, need to in the future. Of course, they, they know exactly that they will need to in the future, but we need to prepare for the possibility because it will take several years to develop and process, and the process must be must address complex policy issues including privacy, security, accessibility, and universal access. And this is what it's all about. There will be no privacy with central bank digital currency. Um, it's impossible. Once it's digital, it's in a computer system. They know exactly what you buy, when you buy it, how much it costs, uh, and who, who purchased it. And they can track it. They can track it everywhere in the whole system and they keep going back to parliament and government of canada are going to decide and you bet you the government of canada is going to decide um and it's probably not going to be based on what the will of the people want so folks uh, mark of the beast system is coming all central banks this is just an example of canada the bank of canada but all central banks around the world are getting ready for this they're gearing up for this 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 uh technology uh is not new anymore by any stretch. These banks have been looking at this for a long time. There's a lot of incentive to do it, a lot of uh, uh, security reasons, you know, fraud, etc., uh, to be moving to it. A lot of good reasons, technically, to be doing it. But ultimately, ultimately we know that um, in Revelation, it does speak of a time when no man can buy or sell, save he that has uh, this particular mark provided by the Antichrist, which is a world leader and a global government at that time and we are marching headlong into uh, this period of time uh, the, the collapse of the US dollar is <clears throat> quickening uh, and the collapse of the world economic system is, is going even more quickly and as we move into World War 3 what happens when you go into World War well economies reset that's what happened in World War 2 uh, the economy reset the, things go uh, real bad uh, for a while until things get reset into a new um, a new um, digital currency or new uh, currency system so folks continue to watch continue to prepare um, this is inevitable you can't stop it at this point Bible says it's coming and we're getting close to it thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video